Scripts are a very handy way to expand your workflow in Maya. They can range from simple to very complex, but all of them are easy to set up. Let's start with the simplest, a shelf script. By default, you have an empty shelf in your workspace that you can use, but you can always add more, organize, or rename existing ones if you want. Don't need the modeling shelf ever? Just delete it and it'll be one less tab cluttering your UI. If you have a script that is self-contained, meaning it's just a single file, if it's short enough, you can just make it a button on your shelf. I say short enough because while you can add long ones, it's much easier to use those externally. So let's open up our script editor. I have a short Python script here, so I'm going to get an empty Python tab and paste it in. If you don't have one or your script is mal instead, you can click the plus button to add another tab. To add the script to our shelf, just highlight it and drag it over. You might get a pop-up for the language. Just pick Python or mal depending on which your script is. If the place you got it from didn't specify the language and you're not sure, Mel uses semicolons while Python does not. And that's it, you have a button and you can click it to run the script. Usually that will run a specific function or open a window that has some tools in it. If you want to adjust the script, you can right click and edit. If you want some extra functionality, you can add another script to the double click command. So double clicking the button will run the other script. Here in the shelves tab, you can navigate to your own icon or pick one from Maya's built-in icons. You can change the tooltip and give it a label in case you need to remind yourself what it does. So that's one way to run scripts. Another way is to make them hotkeys if you really want to optimize your workflow. Opening Windows, Settings, Hotkey Editor, we've got this tab here called the Runtime Command Editor. You can put the script here instead and save it, then it'll show up in the custom scripts drop down over here. You're then able to assign a hotkey to it. If your tool is a bit bigger, it might be one that you call from your scripts folder. If you go to Documents, Maya, Version Number and Scripts, you can place it here. Some might still be a single file, or it might be a folder with a few things in it. Then we'll go back to our script editor and use the shelf code that hopefully you were provided with by whoever made the tool. This will be our button that opens the script from that script folder. It's very simple. I'm just importing the script by name, importing a library called imp. It can also be called importlib, then reloading the script. In older versions of Maya, you won't need that library. If for whatever reason your script is old or unmaintained, you might need to convert the shelf code and possibly the script itself from Python 2 to 3. You could try using a converter like this one at python2to3.com, or if you have a bit of knowledge, you can do it yourself. Also, I would recommend restarting Maya anytime you add a script, just to be sure that everything has been picked up correctly. Lastly, for big tools like Anembot, you might be provided with a file to simply drag and drop into the viewport, which will then handle everything nice and easy. There's a lot of scripts out there and you can do some really cool things, so I definitely recommend modifying Maya with them. Until next time, happy animating!